And here we go. Elder Cruz, fresh off of a great victory versus Roberto Jimenez. Adam Morzinski looking dominant in his semifinal match. Yeah, Elder had, like you said, great performance against Roberto, got the win there. Adam had two submissions in his first two matches of the weekend, then won a match in very dominant fashion, 16 to two in the semifinal to advance to this final. Well, it's checkmat on checkmat, but make no mistake, Elder Cruz and Adam Morzinski are both vying for their true unadulterated IBJJF Nogi world title. We were very impressed with Elder's passing against Roberto. It was, it was less so the passing, Danny, that for me, than it was the maturity to understand when he was going to lose a position and to reset back to a wrestling position. I had a chance to talk to him before our final today, and he had said that his coach, Lucas, told him to avoid scrambles with Roberto at any cost. And so even when Elder had this opportunity, a pass off the side to turn into a back attack, he almost lost it and resets back to neutral. Forgoes the opportunity to get four points just so he can maintain his comfort level. Very impressive stuff. Talked a lot about Adam's butterfly guard. Hard not to talk about it because it's such a huge part of his game. He's been so successful with it in competition. Well, it's going to be one of the things that Elder Cruz is going to need to look out for when he tries to engage these side to side passes. He's going to need to get tight eventually. And when you get tight is when you're most, of course, susceptible to the butterfly guard. Yeah, you can see Elder managing the distance, trying to hide his legs. Maybe with the strategy of trying to avoid the hooks of Adam Wardzinski. Already two minutes and 30 seconds down in this match. Moving right along here at the IBJJF Nogi World Championship. Only have about three matches after this one. Down here, finals day. Now Elder looking for a front headlock. Seems to have briefly stepped into the trap of Adam Wardzinski. Saw Adam use this knee shield position to get to his butterfly guard, usually using that knee to create some space, then I'll insert his left hook. Also saw him go for this knee leverage sweep from half guard where he tilts his opponent to his left. He's done that a couple times throughout the weekend and many times throughout his career. Elder takes his knee off the mat, gets in the center. Adam puts it back down with that butterfly hook, shin to shin. Disengaging once again is Elder Cruz. Very similar to his fight with Roberto Jimenez. Do you see Elder trying to time when people reach their legs toward him? to pass to the side. Now he's trying to take that opportunity to make that happen. Now Beautiful Elder trying to find an by opportunity. Elder gets Adam to turtle. That's going to earn him an advantage in a front headlock position. Adam sits back down. Clears his neck of any danger. We are back to neutral. Halfway through this match, this is the heavyweight final at the 2023 World's No Gi Jiu Jitsu Championship.
Elder Cruz up by one advantage. Got Adam to turtle on a guard pass. And now Adam trying to create some opportunities with his butterfly guard with these hooks on the inside of Elder's legs. Oh, now trying to look for a more aggressive pass to the side. Elder's ability to shoot his legs behind him is so strong. You see, Adam even had a pretty good lock over the knee of Elder a little bit earlier, and he was able to just sprawl his legs back and get out of that position. a lot of movement side to side. Now, if you remember Adam in his semifinal match, he spent a long time on his back. He actually gave up two points at the very start of it. But then, around the three-minute mark, he was able to find that butterfly sweep and rack up the points to about 20, I want to say 20 to 2, I think was the score. Huge point discrepancy that he was able to create in just a little bit of time. Yeah, once he got on top, we talked about how once he sweeps from the butterfly guard, Ends in a good passing position. He was in the three-quarter mount, cleared his foot, got guard pass points, mount points. Ended up getting that sequence twice from the pass to the mount. Now he's trying to get his hips underneath Elders. Elder Cruz incurring a penalty. Talked about it all weekend, but it's been a big year for Adam. Won the pans in the gi, won no gi pans. Now he's going for his second world no gi title. Won this event back in 2019 as a black belt. Adam Wardzinski, a veteran in this division and yet has continued to improve year after year. Now Elder Cruz. Looked like he was going for a body lock pass there momentarily. Elder moving around to the back Beautiful side. Beautiful movement by Elder. Gets nearly to the back of Adam Wardzinski. We'll see if he can pass. Try to keep Adam flat. Beautiful work by Elder Cruz so far. Adam turning back to his knees. That'll earn Elder another advantage. He's up two advantages to none. No points scored yet. Minute 20 left in this heavyweight final at the World No Gi Jiu Jitsu Championships. This is what I mean about the, the competitive maturity of Elder Cruz. His ability to stop moving, stop approaching a position, stop going for something if he feels like it's starting to become dangerous and he's going to put himself in a precarious spot. He stops moving, resets back to neutral, and allows himself to recompose. Walking around to the side again. Adam inverts, trying to recover. And look at the Elder pressure. Elder switching sides. Nice work by Elder. That's another advantage for him. Adam resets his position. But he's down three advantages with just 40 seconds left. Here's the thing about Butterfly, though, Danny. It is just one sweep. You end up on top in a tight position. Elder needs to be very careful in this next 30 seconds. We've seen Wardzinski make some crazy comebacks before. You definitely have. He's got it in him. Puts his Butterfly hook in. 12 seconds left. And Elder Cruz is going to stay on top, ride out that victory up by three advantages. He is going to be your 2023 World No Gi Heavyweight Champion. 
El Monstro makes it happen. Great wrestling, great game planning and strategy in both the semifinal and the final. Elder Cruz makes it happen. Elder Cruz, your heavyweight champion here at the World's No Gi. We are going to take a look at the replay from this match. And now, introducing the Elder Cruz working on some guard passes, switching sides, forced Adam to turtle multiple times throughout the match. And rather than stay on the back, allow Adam to get his hips out so he can reset. He knows he got the advantage. That side to side passing is something that Elder Cruz does so well. He's getting better and better at it with every showing. Just too much for Adam Wardzinski to deal with this time around. Elder Cruz wins his first Black Belt World Nogi title. 